Mike and Del Mabry. You guys like McDonald's? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I started there when I was 17. I was a junior in high school, and everybody remembers their first day that they started working. I was a little bit scared, but they taught me how to take orders, how to make sandwiches, how to clean the bathroom. They always teach that first, because nobody wants to do it. <laughs> and then um, after my first day was over, I went in the break room, and I sat down, and a bunch of my crew members came in. They're like, you did so good. We brought you a brownie. And I took the brownie, and I ate it, and it was not a brownie. The espresso machine and the McCafe machine that makes like the hot chocolates and the lattes, when it's finished, it spits out all the espresso bean into like a square. And you put some whipped cream in a cherry and you give it to the new person and you tell them it's a brown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so nasty. I got one and I've given some too, but it's just a little joke. I really loved working at McDonald's in high school. I worked nights and I worked um, on weekends. And then when I graduated, I started working full time and I became manager. I started going to manager classes. They teach you about food safety and like guests, how to interact with guests, and how to run a shift, which is what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. That's the most important thing in um, being a manager is running a shift. Okay? So the, the shifts are divided into three time periods, breakfast, mid-shift, and then closing shift. The first thing that you would do when you run a shift is you would do a pre-shift. And it's like getting everything ready for the day before you begin. It's like um, if you're going to start a game, you get all the players and all the equipment before the game begins. Otherwise, you know, you, you want to win. So the first thing with the pre-shift, it's like a big checklist. You go into the fridges and the freezers, you check all your products, your McChicken, your cheese, your fries, you make sure nothing's expired, and then you have enough product. The next thing you would do is you would go into the grill area, and you would put the probe into each of the meats, make sure they're all cooked at the right temperature because you don't want anyone getting sick. After that, you would do a travel pass, and you would check all the cleanliness of the restaurant, make sure that the bathrooms are clean, the lobby's clean, all the trash is taken out, because you wouldn't want any guests coming in seeing that the restaurant's dirty, otherwise they wouldn't want to eat in there. Everyone agree with that? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Then you would make sure that the whole area is stocked, your drive through stocks with enough cups, enough sauces, you would make sure your grill area has enough food, everything ready so when you get during your lockdown, your peak period where a bunch of customers come, you're not running to the back, that you have everything you need right in front of you. After you do your pre-shift, you would do a floor plan, which a lot of you guys have probably seen this at your job, a list of everyone who's working and the position that they're working that day. We have front counter, grill, the person that's on the table making the sandwiches and sliding it down, all our different positions. Now when you're making this floor plan, what you would do is we call aces in their places. So the best person or the fastest person would go in the position that's the most important because they can handle the most customers and get us the most money. After that, we would set a target in one hour. So like how many cars we would like to do in an hour is probably 70 to 80 cars. And you think about that all day long if we're doing that for one hour, that's a lot of customers that McDonald's handles. In one day, we would probably make about $8,000 for one day. So if you times that by the whole week, you're going to see how much money we're making. Pretty good, right? So after all the targets are set, we would post them up for all the crew members to see. And then we would put an incentive. So like if we got 89 cars and our target was 84, everyone can go home with a free sandwich that day or a free ice cream just because they did awesome that day. So the three things you have to do are floor plans, targets. Does anyone remember the first thing? Pretty what? Oh, uh, prep, prep. You gotta make sure you got Pre stuff in there. Like yeah, you win a free sandwich. No! 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 <laughs> so does anyone remember aces in there? Places. Places. Aces. Aces in places. Places. <laughs> 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 Alright, thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you learned something about how to run the show. Good. Good job.